In today's video, I'm going to show you some unique pressure out of the big nickel over G formation in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome not me, me welcome you <laughs> to my YouTube channel. Uh, my YouTube channel is designed to help you take your Madden game to the next level. I do that through posting four to five tip videos every single day on Madden 21 right here on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. You can also text me if you have specific questions. Um, my cell number is in the top left-hand corner of the screen, 812-216-3644. All right, guys, Big Nickel over G. Wanted to jump in. Just a quick setup pressure here. This is from the um, WS Blitz 3 or WS Blitz 2 or WS Blitz 1. It doesn't really matter uh, which one you pick. They're all kind of the same. So we're going to go with the WS Blitz 3. And you see that this is the kind of look that you're going to get here. Now, um, ignore the coverage for right now and just focus on the pressure. All we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense and we're going to show blitz. That's literally it. And you see it's going to bring the safety down into a kind of a blitzing as a blitzing threat right here. Then we're going to crash our line down and we're going to keep it contained, slide this guy in off the edge. We're going to click on a savage right here and we're going to user him either right over here, basically like right in here. This is where I like to have him. Let him go down just a little bit and then drop into coverage. And what you'll see is you'll get some pretty decent pressure um, off this left edge. Now, it does work a little bit better in-game than it does in practice mode, um, but it does work in practice mode. Let me see if I can get that set up to work for you uh, again here. We're going to crash this guy in here. And if you stand kind of right in right in any of these pockets, really, um, I, think, I think personally this pocket works a little bit better. But snap of the ball. And no pressure. <laughs> it will work, trust me. It works better in game than it, than it does in practice mode. Um, but we'll show you here real quick. And this guy in. I also like to recrash the line down after I have um, after I've gone in. And if you go right in here, and that's that's more what we're looking for. So depending on the way the offensive line picks it up, you're either gonna get left edge heat or left gap heat. Um, it just kind of it honestly just kind of depends on how the offensive line picks it up, where you where you stand with your user. But you kind of want to be like right in right in this little spot right in here. Um, you can also use the you, – there you see there's the pressure that I'm talking about off that right edge. Now, you can use either linebacker. So if you wanted to use her the – if you wanted to to, um, to use her the left of screen linebacker, um, you'll see I can pick him, come down into this gap right in here. Pass commit, let him just take a couple steps forward and then go back into coverage. And the pressure, um, not as good that time, but still fairly effective. Like I said, this works a lot better in game. You're not going to have these kind of psychic offensive linemen that you do have in practice mode a little bit. You're going to get the slip angle that you want to get. This guy right here is going to come right into this little pocket right here and, you know, basically kind of get that center to kind of move. And when you get that center to move, it typically will open up the pressure um, off that left edge for you. So anyways, guys, big nickel over G, kind of a fun formation to run. Honestly, you can run it. You can really run it like a 4 2 five. Um, these slot corners, you can really kind of run it like that, honestly. Um, there's a lot of room for this thing to be really, really good, um, in my opinion. Um, this is probably one of the better coverage defenses already, but now we're getting able to get some pressure from it. So just wanted to share this from from this setup for you. Um, what's really cool about this is this now opens up the conversation of can you get double edge heat? So can you send six and then maybe get two free? And you'll see here... Um, if we get our if we get the proper stance right in this gap right here, snap of the ball, and you'll see we're able to get at least one, maybe two free on that. So that's a decent little pressure setup out of the big nickel over G. Just wanted to share that from you. I would not use this every down. Do you want to clarify? I would use this very situationally. This pressure does leave you vulnerable into the flats on both sides of the field. But this is a quick pressure setup that you can run um, out of big nickel over G. And what you'll see here is you can actually you don't have to pinch the line and crash it down. You can leave it as it is right there. And what you'll find is it actually doesn't work too bad, as you see right there. Um, if you let them kind of get you, you know. But I think the pressure comes in a little bit quicker when you pinch, um, even though it might be better to not pinch for the consistency you're going to get better pressure overall when you do uh, go ahead and pinch your uh, pinch your defense in my opinion but the show blitz is the key um, to bring that slot corner 
off the edge like that. That's what we're looking for. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to share that with you. That's big nickel over G pressure off the left side and off the right side now today. So you got a little bit of both from there, um, but some good stuff out of big nickel over G. If you haven't picked up the full defensive ebook yet, you certainly can. Um, it's a 46 playbook. I also have the offensive playbook attached to that, so it's a bundle. Um, you get both playbooks for the price of one right now, um, but it's in the description. Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. It's the Arizona offense and the 46 defense. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.